so hi guys uh, welcome to the channel again so guys uh, we will solve another question uh, basically uh, the question is linked list question and we are going to solve this the question name is wave pattern wave pattern and uh, before starting uh, starting of the video uh, i just want to ask you that uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my ch channel please do subscribe because we are uh, always bring uh, beautiful and uh, amazing content for you and it take a lot of time for me to make a video so do subscribe guys it, it gives me motivation and uh, if you haven't uh, liked this video please do like and if you want you can like this video after getting the solution and if you like my solution and do likes and uh, um, subscribe as well so let's start with the question so what is the question is saying question name is wave pattern uh, let's read out the question given a linked list of unsorted integer with a unique value we need to check that it form a wave pattern or not a sequence is said to be a wave pattern if it is increasing and then decreasing alternately or vice versa so it is very important uh, like it is saying that a sequence of linked list is going to be wave is showing it will be a wave pattern if its integer is first increasing and then decreasing or and vice versa vice versa means it would be first decreasing and then increasing as well so it is going to be wave pattern integer uh, linked list so in you can see that in sample uh, test case we have 4 here it is 7 2 and 8 so first it is increasing here to there and then in downward it is decreasing and then again increasing so it is for following a pattern the pattern which is same mentioned in the question increasing and then decreasing or vice versa if we had something like this 7 and then 4 and then 8 and then 3 or 2 something like it is also a wave pattern uh, wave pattern in English because it is first increasing and then decreasing and then increasing uh, let me take another sample input one second so let's skip this I will discuss it later first I want to understand the question itself so like one node is here and then one is here and another is here and here and then uh, you can say 10 here so you can see it is first increasing and then decreasing and then again increasing sorry it is not increasing here here first increasing and then decreasing and then it should be increasing again but it is decreasing and then it is increasing so it is not following any pattern like this increase then decrease then increase then decrease it should be following this pattern or it should be following this pattern decrease increase decrease and increase so whenever we get any uh, any link list which is following these two patterns it is going to be a wave pattern following link list so we are uh, uh, putting our result as true in this in this situation and it if it is not then we have to put uh, output as false let take a false uh, input here what is the input is it is 2 and then 5 then 8 then 9 and then 1 so as you can see it is first increasing okay increasing well and then again increasing then again increasing and then decreasing so no pattern is equal to false simple as that so what if we are how we are, how we can approach for this problem let's see so what we have given is we have only given the head of the link list which is enough for us and how we can uh, how we can implement this this condition of increasing and decreasing we have to implement this condition right so we have to traverse to whole array in a way that it would only measure two element at a time it would only compare two element at a time whether it is increasing in order or decreasing in order if it is increasing in order then it move further and then again you know again measure is next element if suppose the first two nodes is in increasing order then when it's move further then it should be in 
decreasing order and then again it should be in increasing order like this so if this follow and we we traverse till the end of the node which is null then we will simply output as true so don't think about how we can implement this just uh, understand what i'm saying then i will uh, take you to the code then you can understand it better so what we are going to do we are first calculate first calculate we will first uh, put a condition like we will take a variable take a variable variable is uh, skip or not not skip actually uh, turn we can say turn we will initialize it to zero and first we will check only two two nodes example this if it has many nodes we have to just check the first two nodes why because if the first two nodes it is in decreasing order like here it is decreasing 4 to 5 then we can check the whole remaining array whether it is following the pattern or not if first is decreasing order then after after that it should be in increasing right after that it should be in increasing and after that again decreasing so the first two element we need to find first that whether it is increasing or decreasing like if the nodes is something like this then we will check like here it is increasing right 5 to 7 it is increasing for sure and then we can move further to check whether the next element is in decreasing order or not right decreasing order or not so we have to do like this and how we can do is let's go through the code so here here the code is what is the code is saying uh, so we are simply given an head and uh, we have to complete this function and what, we, what I, we, I am doing is I am creating a temp variable and temp I have pointed it to head because as you know we will not uh, directly traversing uh, using a head pointer because it might be change the whole uh, linked list structure so we have just created a tempor temporary variable and pointed it to, it to the head and here I have taken a turn turn variable you can see and initially pointed it to 0 and integer value of turn and fill it to 0 assign the 0 value to it why I have did this you can understand just uh, following what I am saying so here the two condition you have to look very carefully what is the right I have written here if temp value value is mean value or data is same okay whatever the you have given in the solution class solution or node class you have to write in the in that way whether it is value mention value or data right mean same temp dot value whatever the value under temp and is it is less than whatever the value on temp dot next dot value right right like this if the node is this we are checking these two whether the temp temp dot value is less than these are the temp dot dash net dot value temp dot next dot value right if it is then turn will turn to one okay else it is not then turn to two what is one and two we will uh, see further no issue let's erase this so you have uh, you have be like okay okay we have understand we have to uh, you know make this turn one and two according to the first value what next the next is simple here here we will traversing through the array using while putting the condition in while temp dot next why I have put temp dot next I can also put temp is not equal to null you might be thinking this I have put this because we are comparing temp value 
to temp dot next value so if I put this condition then if our pointer is on this then the next value is null so it will give us give us null pointer exception right like in array when we want to check to the i plus 1 we always run our loop to n minus 1 right this is also the same this is the basic thing i want to, to let you know because i don't want anyone to con get confused at any point of time so that's why i'm uh, giving you this this much of details so okay that's okay uh, so you are saying okay we have done and now what so now is if turn is equal to is equal to 1 then what we are going to do is we are going to compare the first element the first element with the second element whether it is less than or not if it is then we are simply moving ahead and turning our 1 to 2 right so don't be don't get confused just understand I will let you know by line by line don't get confused so what we have done is we have taken first we have take compared the first two value whether it is less than or greater than and we are assigned our turn to one or two okay and then we have uh, created a while loop till null till time dot next is not equal to null and then in this we have put these two conditions if and else if in this condition if condition I have put turn is equal to is equal to 1 then compare first with second whether it is less or not whether first is less than second if it is 2 then check whether first is greater than second now you will understand it why I have did this so whenever this condition fulfill this first condition let me write it here so whenever this condition fulfill first is less than 2 then it will make turn to 2 turn to 2 and move the pointer ahead and the pointer our point our pointer is here now and then in this in this area it will check whether what is the temp to whether temp to in temp to it is increasing or not first it check decreasing or not and then if turn is 2 then it will check increasing or not I hope you are getting some idea here why I have read 1 or 2 because I want to check that two nodes two nodes in the condition such that it is increasing should I check the increasing things or should I check the decreasing thing this increasing or decreasing things is measured by turn 1 and 2 so 1 means decreasing and 2 means increasing so whenever I get any element which is in, in decreasing form then I will assign turn to 2 so that in next in next iteration next notation it will check this condition and not again this right am I right or no wrong so what what I am doing is I am turning 1 if it is turn is 1 then check decreasing 1 and then move the pointer ahead and make turn to 2 so that when it's come to again in the loop then it will not come to this it will come to this this condition if turn is 2 then check then uh, the further element is in should be in increasing order if it is then make turn to 1 if this condition is not fulfilled like this if this is 1 2 and the next one is uh, next one is 5 right then here it is checking turn is equal to 1 and value is in decreasing sorry turn is equal to 2 and the value is increasing temp dot well this is temp dot well and this is temp dot next dot well okay so it is increasing uh, I'm sorry uh, here it is checking this turn is equal to 1 temp dot well is less than so it 1 is less than 2 now obviously 1 is less than 2 so this is this will be following this condition 1 is less than 2 okay now it is marked temp it is move the pointer ahead and mark temp to 2 okay move the pointer ahead first first the pointer is here and then pointer is here and here right move the pointer ahead and now check this condition 
in this condition it is tam dot val should be greater than tam dot next dot val so tam dot val is this and tam dot val next dot val is this so it this two should be greater than five but two is not greater than five then it will automatically come to this condition and return false means loops is and the it will come out of the loop whenever we encounter the return statement it will come out of the loop and then give the our answer to the false otherwise true if the whole whole iteration is going till null then it will give us true and if any any element which is not following this condition any value which is not following these two condition then it will return the false so hope you understand the basic of uh, what i'm saying is it is very simple uh, don't get confused if you haven't understand please go through the video again i have uh, uh, i have given you solution in very, deta very much details so no issue uh, i hope you might understand this try to implement this it on your own and you will get to know it better so i hope guys you have liked my solution if you like please do subscribe to the channel and uh, give a thumbs up to this video it will uh, give me motivation to make more video like this so, uh, so see you again in the next video guys take care bye